，上一條片係 send 冇問題，畫有問題嘅。跟住又睇下會唔會有問題咧？真係喎，長撳 B， 長撳 X。咁我而家用邊？你嚴仔清除清理門戶嘅任務。想殺人喎、哦，一陣間又會俾阿 Sam 見到，好難搞敲活咗先，哎呀，我得四点未得得先，要捞完啲嘢先，好，落咗先，我讲下咁样
唔使諗啦，一定係做好人路線㗎啦。Yes. Is there a way to go faster? 呢個瞓咗先，死！冇所謂啦。我哋系好人嚟噶，你快啲叫佢著草啦！呢只系原真侠嘅戒指。点解你唔攞佢嘅人头翻嚟俾我？Sure, what to make of you being here? If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. That is true, which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. Thank you for everything. Ready to take. <laughs> go, go! The second part of the game will be. 会唔会信噶？真系有啲担心。有啲人中意呢个 fast travel 嘅系统啊！我我咩事咩事咩事？哇哇哇哇哇
our ass. Oh, Chad, I appreciate it when you're able. can I do? Draw my head. Oh, okay. You can't get money. Before you make me 
。你奸角通常都好奸。係咪得㗎？就一日話我講大話 blow 咗。我哋真係要點點記，有啲擔心啊！唉，揸船記，唉，但係零點，零點揸咩船？入咗会啦Outstanding parking ticket. I've got some stuff in my mind. When you have the time, Captain. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. I hope I'll be able to see him next time on shore leave. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. That girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time, I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. <laughs> uh, that's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you, but Cora wasn't exactly planned. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Free Star Rangers, had a partner. Million hearts. Well, we were like fire and ice, but that、uh, well, wasn't all bad. <laughs> oh, woohoo! If anything, I think she should be jealous of you. Ah,、uh, maybe some other time I'll get into the whole Lillian chapter. She's one of their top <laughs> rangers, so they <laughs> keep her in the field. Whole four hours. That's how she likes it. It wasn't always like it is now. Hell, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, "What a colossal mistake I made. Me, a father." But one late night, early morning, whatever. Little Cora gave me my first smile, and I knew I'd do anything for that girl. Yeah, sure don't feel like it. I mean, something you said to me about parents wanting children to learn from their mistakes. Now that Cora's getting older, that's that's what haunts me. I've、uh, I've done things I'm not proud of. I <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but 
Is she gonna fall into the same traps? And that's the truth there. I know it seems crazy to hold her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. Her mother, like I said, another story all the time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. You think? Well, she does say the damnedest things. And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. Excuse me. Who are no seen? At ease, soldier. Commander. We got the message from the Regana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. I hate to say it. Sometimes folks gotta die. But this was not one of those situations. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Oh, you're not dumb. To her rescue, ensure that will not be a problem. Ah, so I take it you have good news. Were you able to join the fleet? Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Yes, you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile of the background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Ugh, no one said there was going to be homework. I assure you, there is only information that is pertinent to the mission. Our dossiers are designed to be succinct. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Roger. First mission in the books, and no casualties.
How can I be? Bowchong. This is going far, Brandon. Oh, now they're getting tired. turns into a damn air freshener. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Never apologize. Not if you want anyone in the fleet to respect you. And if they don't respect you, put a gun to their head and they'll get the message. But, all that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Key. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Hell yeah it is. Just watch your back when you do. Cred sticks tend to disappear around here if you catch my meaning 
Are we on the same station? Sure. Yeah, just take a quick cat nap. You'll be missing a kidney or two. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. All right. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United States next prison they call the lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, lock, key. Uh, cute, huh? You've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction, you know. That thing I spend most of my day dealing with, believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, neighbor. I was getting tired of trading with the same old favorites. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault if people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, neighbor. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. <laughs> I'm right. Oh, got Bradley the move. The Come on. Sure you can deal there. Lâu xe vừa mới đó là lâu vậy. Chưa chờ đó là Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Vogue serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Corps, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. 
the money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner Rec for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully Senior mentioned ID. it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. It's why he's the boss. Of course, I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my ribcage. But Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications, oh. even Bugen would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run of the mill cyber runner. There. You're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. Oh. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Kim lâu say là hơi canh Bỏ đi. Ah, there is our other new recruit. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get into business. The two of you are the only roots that have made the latest. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be doing this ever again. Neighbor's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. You'd better not disappoint, or you'll find yourself answering to me. <laughs> Bye, baby. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Boss. <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. 
Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Cricks left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. <laughs> when we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UCC's death. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. That end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. of the Crimson Fleet. To parrots. Not an eye patches. Anything ship related, you're at the right place. Hello, Captain. Dad, do you think 
Solomon Co. would have liked me. Clamps for sure. Least. Everybody. <笑>几线同时进行。Until we meet again. Don't go causing trouble. Could be hard to get out of there. If you're wondering what that smell is, it's neon. I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending. Like one of those months. You know what? Screw it. I am not sure.
Extra for Koyish, yes. But you're going to need more supporting evidence. They were just That's what I was afraid of. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I know what you mean, but that's your missing piece right there. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp. So, at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Okay. There's always work to be done. Face yourself. Would you know stretch trash 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. No, say for. There's not enough to do around here, so we had to clean up the community of rape. Why don't we just talk to you? It's not like it's much use. Sales floor is downstairs. Right. Wow. 
解咗呢部電腦會用嘅咧？嗯、啊，冇曬 digital pics 咪啊，搞錯啊！你買翻抽先。To your heart's content.
失礼しますI was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Sorry, yeah. We see a chink ass on. off the streets welcome to Newell's if you're looking for any specific goods Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time <laughs> oh no, I don't have a problem with this place my problem is Sigurd himself that man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe.
by standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Okay, so some of my ears. Now, James, what am I, I don't want you to get upset. Administrator Bacon. Oh, yeah? His Majesty decided to come down from his throne and walk amongst us peasants. Feel like bringing the pain, huh? All right, get out of here. I've been applying to different levels. If it's too hot to handle, we can take it off your hands. Yeah, buying, selling, or moving. Yeah, well then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. All right, what's up? Busy. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. It's a date. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Am I? Forgive me. I tend to forget how annoying that can be. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Sure, and going in, I expected it to be expensive. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? I'm sure we can make a deal.
哇，有咩即刻咁样喊？買咗嘢啦，咪幫你買幾多啲雀皮啊！十六。
Take it easy. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested in what you're asking. Almost a little bit to go and drink. What? This place is like my sound. Love your fit. It may not work for some, but it works for you. 